Hi, thank you so much for joining me. So first off, I'd like to apologize for my appearance. And if you're new to my channel, this is not how I normally appear in my videos. I did already record a video on this topic. I was getting ready to post it for the morning and I just really didn't like the camera angle. So I decided to re-record. Unfortunately, I am already ready for bed. It's almost 11 o'clock at night here. So um, yeah, please excuse my snowman pajamas. Um, my husband constantly makes fun of me for wearing these, but you know, they're comfortable. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to go over the new Sisley Tinted Moisturizer. And I wanted to give my thoughts on this. So this is the Phyto Hydro Tint, and I purchased shade one. I did, um, my first time using this was in the Get Ready With Me video from last week. So I have worn this for five days now, and I am ready to give some thoughts. Now, before we go too far, I wanna just show you the shade. So here is the product. It comes in a squeeze tube. And this is shade one. So again, it's a tinted moisturizer, so it is thin. And this is my normal foundation, the Guerlain L'Essentiel in 00N. So let me just show you that. And then this is the Sisley. So you can see that the Sisley is much warmer. Um, it's more, more tan than the Guerlain. So... <laughs> Um, you know, in the Get Ready With Me video, I had asked you guys for your opinions on the color match as I applied it. And I want to say thank you so much to everybody who helped me with that. And um, I'm going to <laughs> go ahead and talk about that in a little bit. So before we get too far, let me go ahead and read what we have on the box. So it says the effectiveness of a daily skincare with a veil of color blended with multiple benefits, intensely moisturizes, visibly smooths, boosts radiance, plus evens and illuminates the complexion, an ultra fresh texture with a light coverage for a natural finish. So I wore it for five days. I don't think that is long enough to give any sort of opinion on whether or not it gives you skincare benefits. I will say that putting it on, taking it off, my skin always looked fully moisturized with it on and I didn't notice anything negative. I didn't have any breakouts or any irritation or anything from the product. And you know, my skin condition stayed the same from when I started using it to when I, well, till today. <laughs> so. Um, I do have it on right now on half of my face. I did my skincare and nighttime routine. And then I wanted to just kind of show you guys as I was re-recording this, um, what it looks like on me. So this side of my face, which is my right, um, has the tinted moisturizer on. And I think, I'm not even sure if you can really see much of a difference here, um, but you can see that the redness on my cheeks has been dampened. So that definitely kind of evens that out a bit. It's not gonna even it out completely. It is a tinted moisturizer and not a foundation. So it's a very sheer product. You can add more and kind of dampen that out more, but for me, the color is too dark. So if I keep adding more, it just looks more and more tan and just looks, you know, like I have fake tanner on my face. So I have to be careful not to add too much with this. I have tried this product. Again, I've worn it five ways, so I've worn it different ways. I've applied it with um, a brush. I've used like a denser brush and a fluffier brush. I've used my fingers. Um, I've tried more of like a padding versus rubbing. I've tried mixing it in with the uh, new Chanel Light Rosy Drops to see, you know, if uh, it made it a little bit less tan for me. And it does, but, I just, you know, I, I don't. I don't think it's, it's great that way because it, it does kind of dilute the moisturizer color just a little bit too much then and you're pretty much really not wearing anything then because it's really sheer already. All right, so um, every time that I did apply it, the product applied beautifully. If you want a little bit more coverage, you know, use a brush or, you know, a makeup sponge. I did not use a beauty blender. It's not something I really use. I have a ton of them, but I never reach for them. So I didn't really want to practice putting this on with something that I know I'm not going to use on a regular basis. 
So this product though, with all the different ways that I applied it, it turned out beautifully every time. I have tried it with sunscreen underneath as well. Uh, I used the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen, and if you're familiar with that, it has a very silicone heavy feeling. Um, the sunscreen itself doesn't feel heavy. It just feels like there's a lot of silicone. So I'm not, sorry if I, I that was a little confusing. So anyway, I put that on and then put the tinted moisturizer on. It glides over it nicely. Actually, I think, you know, it camouflaged the redness in my cheeks a little bit better because the sunscreen, um, the super goop unseen sunscreen, it can act as a primer and a sunscreen. So I think, you know, it kind of did help kind of blur this out a little bit more than it does just with a direct application. Now, just so you know, I did already do my nighttime skincare prior to applying this. So I have like a facial oil and stuff on and my skin's a little bit dewier than it normally is during the daytime. And that dewiness is peeking through a bit on the tinted moisturizer. But in general, when you wear this, it's always going to look like you have freshly moisturized skin. And that look stayed with me the whole time that I wore it. So when I put it on in the morning and when I took it off, and one day it was like 14 hours, you know, my skin just still looked nicely moisturized. So that is something I really do like about this product. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that traditionally with Sisley foundations, um, I've had issues with oxidation with those foundations. So even when it looks like I might have a color match, within 20 minutes or so, I start noticing it getting a little bit too dark, too yellow, kind of yellowish orangey color, and it just doesn't work for me. So I've never found a suitable skin match in one of their uh, foundations. This product, however, did not have any oxidation issues. So the color it is when I apply is the same color it is when I take it off later. And, you know, I think if you're somebody who's had issues with oxidation with the Sicily foundations, um, hopefully you'll have that same experience. But I definitely did not have any oxidation with this product. So um, let's just take a look at the texture. So you can see that, not even sure if you can see like much of the color in this lighting, but... It is just a little bit warm for me. You can kind of tell more like above my lips that this side is like more yellowish and this side is not. Uh, I really went just like 50-50. So let's see here. So anyway, um, in summation for me, I think this color is just a little bit too dark, too yellow. Um, I wish that Cicely would have more colors. This tinted moisturizer comes only in three shades. So the three shades, I just, I feel like they don't go light enough. And though I haven't tried it on someone with the deepest skin tone, I, I don't think that it is going to work on somebody with a really deep skin tone. And unfortunately, I think that is something that Cicely kind of missed on this because I love the texture. It's definitely something I would use on a regular basis if they had a lighter color. So again, I thank everybody for helping me, um, you know, give, giving me your opinions on the foundation shade match. And I think in 95% of lighting situations, you know, it's pretty, it, it, it's a, you don't really notice any of the yellowness. However, um, <laughs> I was at my parents' house over the weekend and I was wearing this. And when I went into the powder room, which had no natural light, you know, basically the first thing you notice is that my face looked off. It looked a bit more yellow. And it didn't look like that if I, you know, in the natural light, even in the natural shade outside, it, it didn't really have much of a, a yellow tint. It, you know, maybe like a little tan or something, but not something anybody would notice. And I asked a ton of people. <laughs> so um, nobody really, everybody thought it looked great um, until I got into one of those unfortunate situations where, you, you know, the lighting just isn't great. And then you can really see how, how yellow it is. So I think for me, I do not like the color match. I haven't decided what I'm doing with this yet. 
whether I'm going to hold on to it and test it again this summer and just kind of hope. But unfortunately, um, my skin tone usually stays the same during the summer. I wear a lot of sun protection. I kind of keep to the shade. I, I don't tan or anything. I don't usually wear a different foundation shade in the summer versus the winter because my skin really doesn't change significantly. So I, I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm doing. I'm, I may return it or I may hold on to it for the summer or see if uh, somebody I know wants it. So <laughs> that that's my verdict. And I thank everybody who helped me with that. Now, uh, just another note about this product. This product does not have any SPF factor or anything. There is no mention of sun protection at all on the website either or anywhere on the box or product itself. However, the one, two, three, fourth ingredient is titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide, as you know, is a physical sunscreen. Since it is high up on the ingredient list, there probably is some inherent sun protection in it. I would not, um, I would not factor that into, um, you know, when you're actually using this. So I would definitely wear a sunscreen underneath it because I just, even though there may be some, some protection, you have no clue how much you're getting. And honestly, the quantity that you're using is not going to be significant. This shears out so much you're using so little product. And that's probably why there's no SPF rating. Um, cause you're just not going to get enough sun protection, even if, you know, even if they put an SPF factor on here, you wouldn't really be getting that based on how little product you're actually using. So in, in my opinion, um, don't count on this as having any sunscreen at all. And again, Sicily has not made any sun protection claims whatsoever. Okay. So overall, my thoughts are that this product is a fantastic product. I really like the finish, the texture. I love how it feels on my skin. Uh, I like how it wears throughout the day. I like how when you touch it, it doesn't feel like you're wearing any sort of makeup. It just feels like skincare. I do think this is a pricey product. It's $120 for 1.3 ounces. However, it is supposed to be skincare and not technically makeup. So if you are looking at Sicily skincare, this is reasonably priced. <laughs> so it kind of depends what category you put it in. Um, but again, I think if you're a shade or more darker than I am, this is a great option if you're looking for a tinted moisturizer. And I really, really love the product. I just think it's a terrible shade range and that Sicily should definitely expand their shades in, in general. They, they need to do it with all of their products, not just the tinted moisturizer. I would love to be able to wear some of their other base products. Uh, the foundations, they look beautiful on other people. And unfortunately, you know, just color wise, they don't work for me. So sorry for rambling, but that is it for my thoughts on this tinted moisturizer. And I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them down below. Again, thank you so much to everybody who gave me their opinions on the tinted moisturizer. And I have to agree, in this lighting, I think it looks fine. You know, you don't really, it, it looks a little bit warmer, I think, than my natural skin, but it's not something noticeable. It's just when you get in those certain lighting situations where it just is pretty evident that it's not a match which for me makes me uncomfortable, which means that it's not something I'm gonna be using on a regular basis. So again, <laughs> appreciation goes to everybody um, for their thoughts and comments. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're interested in subscribing, you haven't already, please do so. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful day.